We have uh, families or individuals uh, coming to collect their food parcels. Uh, we also have another distribution centre open uh, and that's on Fridays uh, down in Farnham at Church House which tends to be a busier day uh, and again people come and collect their food parcels. Our referral agencies are the schools, um, social services, churches. Was there a bigger demand during Initially, the we yeah. had a 300% increase. Wow. <laughs> uh, it all settled down. Yeah. Um, and now we're trending 50% um, increase right. more than yeah. uh, last year. Um, I've been helping with food back, oh, I don't know, about 10 years, I think. But it hasn't always been on this scale. I know it went up and it's kept on going up and we anticipate a big increase coming in soon with all the redundancies. Well originally all the people over 70 stopped, we were asked to, um, but I've come back again as you can see I'm well over 70 because I'm perfectly safe like this. Away from, I don't sort of have any contact with the public and we mask up and uh, I'm just doing one little job out of the whole lot that's being done. Well, there's mixed bags of food, whatever's just come in, and um, we have a good look at it, make sure it's in date, write the date on clearly, so that the people who pack don't have to scrabble around looking for a date. But we've got quite a production line going here now. I used to do the whole thing when we had the small teams, so it's, uh, it's running like a car plant. <laughs> I'll do Bridgley Hill first. Um, where is that's Ash? That's uh, the fall of Ash. Okay, so let's. What date is it next? I've probably been doing it for two or three months now. I think yeah. I answered a there was a, resp it was a request for for help came out in the local church um, news sheet and uh, took it up and I was lucky enough to get selected. From my perspective, it's it's been any. Any, any more deliveries because I think most of the deliveries are meant to be picked up by the people uh, and it, I don't think I've seen any any more although today they had a second person doing some deliveries I understand so there might be more. Do you feel food banks doing a good job? Oh I think so I'm, I am really impressed when I see the way that, 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 that Mel and Harriet organise the, the central warehouse because I see I do sort of two jobs I bring stuff from the central warehouse down to the distribution centre and I do on a Wednesday and I do deliveries on a, on a Friday and I just look at the way they manage that, the, the warehouse and it's, they do a fantastic job I think, really really good. But I mean I can't really comment because I don't really know what the government does but I guess the advantage of the food bank is it's working on a local level and you've got local Farnham, local somewhere else, local somewhere else so they can more easily address the needs of, the needs of people. Um, the Trussell Trust, which is the, the charity under which um, the food bank here in Farnham is, is, is opening, um, have um, a new kind of strand which they're starting to develop and wanting to, 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 to emphasise, which is actually to remove the need, to help remove the need for people to have food banks, which is strange to do yourself out of a, a job. The, the, the need for food banks um, has been recognised in recent times and, and quite often people feel that that shows that um, the, the government and, and local authorities are not actually doing what they should do to actually prevent that or to, 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 make, to meet the need for those who are in, in need for, of food. Yeah, there's a high demand on everything at the moment, um, shortage of everything. It's a race to um, get food out of the stores and stuff like that. It, it's just dreadful. People lose their sleep over it. If it wasn't for Food Bank, um, we'd be in a major crisis for all the families. Um, every time I come here, there's always loads of families that need this support. And we are so lucky to have Food Bank to um, look after us in this uh, area.